Welcome to my weekly Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Today's video is all about paper crafting. I'm here to share how easy it is to make a 3D project. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and I would love to see you shop with me. Hey everybody, so I have this really cute fold flat box to share with you today and I'm featuring the in colors. So I'm going to share with you, so it folds flat like that and I'm going to share with you how to create this box. It is super cute, it's very retro, I love it. Nine by eight and a half. We're going to score on the long side at a half two and a half, six and a half, and eight and a half. Flip it round, and it's simple. Two, four, six, and eight. Fold and burnish all your score lines. Okay, so we're going to remove the rectangle and the square on both sides. All right, and then we are going to cut up on all the score lines here on both sides. All right, since this is the back and I'm going to fold it round, I'm gonna figure out that I need to take this one off if I want that top part to be the front. So right here is the front, I'm removing that. And then these two pieces get to be the tabs and I'll just lop them in half and of course we're going to do all of our wedging so wedge wedge a little bit here on the lid and a little bit here okay and now Okay, so if that's the top, I want the bottom, this bottom to be this tab. So I need to remove this one. And then this one gets to be a tab. And this one gets to be a tab. And then we'll do wedging out on them. Okay, now is the fun part. All right, so I'm going to turn it around and at about, I think about an inch, I'm going to lay down some adhesive. So maybe half an inch. I'll try, I'll aim for half an inch. All right. I'm going to prime, here we go, trying to lay down that in a somewhat of a straight line. It's not at all straight. <laughs> That's okay. That's a little bit better. I'm going to put down about an inch and a half. I think that's about enough. I have some <clears throat> strips of paper here. This is 
Evening Evergreen. And I am going to try to adhere it at the half inch mark. Maybe we'll catch some adhesive. <laughs> it would be easier to put adhesive on the um, paper, but I didn't have the luxury of doing that this time around. So I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way by putting adhesive on my project first. Okay, I think that went down decently well. I'm going to choose my next one, which is Soft Succulent. And I don't care it goes, if it goes over this, it's fine. Now I'm going with Pale Papaya. I have to get used to the names of the new ink colors, so... And I do feel they do go decently well together. Some years they are really clashing, <laughs> and then some years they're not. This is Polished Pink. And they're, they're very nice colors, I like them all. I think my favorite is Pale Papaya. I have been using a lot of the Soft Succulent, however. Okay, so now I'm going to put adhesive all along the back here. Whoops, I got a little cardstock there. There we go. Just go over it a couple of times, it'll be fine. Okay, and it will probably be easier for me to stamp on uh, the front. So I am using a sentiment that says thank you from, oh, such nice font. Uh, pansy patch. Hopefully you can see that the glare isn't too bad. It's thank you right here. And I'll show you a card that I make. That's very. It's I. The box is inspired by the card, and that says a little hello from me to you. I'm sending some of these um, lovely cards to my customers in the mail. First of all, I'm showing off our new in colors. And secondly, I just wanted to say hi to some of my customers from all over Canada. Now, if you cut your paper correctly, that means these guys, <laughs> you're going to end up with more even a more even uh, box, looking box than my first one was a little off. <laughs> Look. You can see that. But anyway, this one's much better. Putting the bottom down first. Tucking that inside. Oh yeah, this looks so nice. I love it. All right, well that is the share for today. Really simple box, super awesome way of showing off the in colors. If you are a demonstrator, perhaps you could uh, make a whole bunch of these and stuff treats and candies inside if you're doing an in-person event. Or if you're not doing an in-person event and you're just dropping off your catalogs to your customers, I've had to send mine all over Canada. Um, if you are a local demonstrator, then you might be able to drop off a lovely, you know, mini bottle of alcohol or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Just a, a nice little gift uh, featuring the in color colors. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you again soon. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. 
On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.